Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave. And if there's one thing I really hate coming into the winter, it's having a Rectus 26 fitting, which fits onto your hose reel that leaks. Really, really bugs me, gets the van soaking wet. So I've seen a few people ask, can they be repaired? Well, there is a way of repairing them. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how that's done. So I'm on holiday at the moment in uh, beautiful Pembrokeshire in Wales, uh, having a lovely week but um, I've got a few minutes spare and I brought this with me so I thought I'd just uh, have a play with it. I, I enjoy doing the videos so for me it's part of my holiday to do them. Uh, so I thought while I was here, it's a nice little easy job I can do while I'm away. It means that my van will be dry when I get back when I start going back to work. So uh, here's how we do it. You're going to have to take your Rectus fitting, your Rectus 26 fitting off your hose reel. You're going to need a 10 mil Allen key and a pair of Stilsons or a pair of pliers, uh, some O-rings, I've got a set of O-rings there and some PTFE tape. So the first thing you do is make sure that the, it's held tight in a set of Stilsons or a pair of pliers so it won't twist. Then if you look inside there is a fitting for an allen key so get your allen key in sometimes these are quite tight and then give it a twist and that should undo what that does that unscrews this part they unscrews them so they're separate so you've got the two parts there so clean off any old ptfe tape that's on it anything like that get all that off, give that a good clean up and then once that's clean you can push the centre out. Now if you look inside, so you've now got three parts, if you look inside now you can see there's an o-ring in there. Now that's probably what's uh, worn and that's causing it to leak. So you need something to get that out. I've got a little multi-tool here and just use the blade part of it and you can normally just hook out the old o-ring so once that comes out that's quite easy to get out just pull out the o-ring now keep hold of that because you'll need to make sure you've got the right size all you do then is work out what size o-ring you want so I've tested against the others. Now the last time I changed it, the one that I thought it was, wasn't quite right. And I had to go with a slightly bigger one. So that one looks about right. Now to get it back in, it's a bit fiddly. So the best way I found of doing it is wear a pair of nodal, no, needle nose pliers, easy for me to say. Put a kink into that, you see your O-ring, fold it in on itself and then you can just hold it into position with a pair of pliers. You can then feed that inside and there's a little groove in there and that o-ring just fits into the groove. You just push it in so it fits in nicely all the way around and then just seat it back home into that groove. Make sure it's in all the way around it's a bit fiddly, but not impossible. So make sure that's seated well in all the way around. You might just need to push the last bit in a little bit. A bit awkward, but it will go in. Once you've got your O-ring in, it helps just to put a bit of silicone grease around the inside of that, uh, around that inside of that O-ring. That'll just help it spin on there a bit. What you do then, as I said, make sure you've got all your old PTFE tape off, so that doesn't clog anything up. You can then push this piece back in through there 
so it just slides in and you can it will stop what you need to do then is wrap some fresh PTFE tape around it uh, doesn't need loads but just a few wraps I think when I took this apart um, I don't think it got PTFE tape around it I think it might have had a bit of Loctite on it and that might have been a bit better so once you've got your PTFE clean all, clean it off so you've got a nice clear top and the water actually goes in through the side of there so what I'll do then screw it back in make sure there's no stray PTFE in there screw it back into there so it's nice and tight using your allen key the, the two parts screw back in together now you have to remember that the water goes in through a certain part so remember where that is on your allen key because that will need to line up with where the water comes in through the inlet or the outlet so screw that in, so that's nice and tight, wind it right up, so you make sure that's in there nice and tight. All you need to do now is you'll need to take off the bit of PTFT, PTFE tape that's gone across the uh, outlet of the pipe. So you're probably better off getting a little drill bit or a screwdriver, poking that down that hole and that'll take off the PTFE tape that's taking it and that should stop the water from leaking now I've got one tip that will guarantee that you stop the water leaking and that is chuck that in the bin buy a new one £6.50 off Garner plus VAT and you've got a brand new one that's not going to leak guaranteed if it does leak ring Gardner up and tell them the one I sent you leaks use a new one the time it takes to do that is just not worth it that's how I'd mend a Rectus 26 fit in. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. There's loads of good stuff on there. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.